a lot of these tools that I use um, obviously are some are standard but some actually made this is a crawl space drone that I built I made about five of them um, I did this about a few years ago because I got situations where I can't fit underneath certain sections so especially if the you know the clearance is less than 18 inches like you know if it's 10 or 12 I can't fit in there so what I did was I customized a drone and put these cameras on it and then I put a battery pack on for the camera and these lights and each section is facing certain sections of the house like the perimeter foundation this would be the girder member joists and so forth I could take about 60 photos in two minutes with this underneath the house I made smaller ones too that can go in different sections and I'm actually building a couple new ones over here. Um, this is my laboratory. Um, here, I'll show you. This is this is uh, all those backpacks are full of tools. Um, this is where I definitely would say I spend a lot of time charging stuff. Okay, so this right here is a thermal imager which is pretty standard that almost every home inspector should have. I use this to obviously check for water leaks, um, also check for ducking leaks um, around the registers, and also see and show what's actually working. So I wanna show the dishwasher's working. So when I have the settings going and it's on rinse cycle, you, I would use this to show there's hot water, so we show what's working. Same with the oven, same with the HVAC equipment. I wanna show what works. Um, that's important for the seller to know. So the important thing about our reports is not about the uh, what's not working, it's what is working. So that protects the seller as well as being informative for the buyer. Couple more things. Um, I actually have a telescopic camera that I built. This is the this is actually from another um, device that goes to this, and then I I actually have a telescope, but it's a, extensions out. Um, and this is so that I can inspect underneath stilt built homes. So like those um, homes that are on water, well you can't get you know 12 feet to see what if there's a plumbing leak or 20 or sometimes 20 feet so I actually have a pole I put on this so I go to a Wi-Fi to my camera and I can get up underneath the house to, when it's on water I've also flown my drone on there too um, even thought about building a boat drone which I think that's kind of overkill <laughs> but um maybe I'll get to that point um, this also works too with attics um, especially low sections where the uh, access is in the garage and you can't get to the, the ridge location of the uh, the peak of the home. So I use this to get to that. Um, we'll keep going. This is a laser level, which I will use to check how level the floor is. Also to see how strict the load bearing walls are. And you'll we'll see, see, okay. Let's keep going. Um, rope camera. I have the device right here. Um, especially like under decks for lattices. So you can pull it up, you can see underneath the wet in there and see what's going on. Uh, obviously, gas detector. And over here, we have the mold kit. And I actually have a microscope that will be used to check, you know, especially for, uh, you know, mold growth and type of mold. I mean, I'm not a mold expert on my EPA license, but this will also work with checking for asbestos fibers as well. We will keep, there's so many tools here. Oh, um, obviously. The drones, flying drones. I got three of these. Um, I actually waterproofed one. It's got a membrane shell I made over it so it can fly in the snow, which I have, and rain. And a third one for wind, which is like basically my worst one because um, I obviously don't want to lose it. <laughs> the wind's the wind's the worst. That's that's the hardest thing to deal with. Okay. Obviously, we have 
electrical checkers and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna go through here. You know. Oh, and then in case you have two prong of around this as well, I actually have also a. Uh, Sewer lateral camera that's coming. I just sent one back because it didn't have the um, the transmitter on it, which I was like, okay, well that's stupid. Just send it back to the one transmitter. I like to use these kind of GFCI testers or electrical testers, I guess you call it, because even it let me know what's going on with the bat with the battery not in it. Test the temperature for fridges, freezers, um, side finder. That's just, I think it's the contractor in me. <laughs> and I'll go this way, sorry, and away from the camera. Um, obviously tape measures, because I want to show joist distance between, uh, you know, on deck treads, you know, like if it's more two footy, cannot use inch and a half tread for wood. Um, a little bit different for tracks and composite. Okay, and I am, okay, all right, here we go. And this is an important thing here. Um, water tests and water pressure tests. Uh, I like to test for, um, you know, pH levels and solidity. Um, it's a simple little test that, you know, comes vital. But what I learned through the years is that I would do it on the hose bib and then realize there's a water softener in the house. And um, obviously the hose bib won't do anything because water tests are better on the inside of the home because they have a water softener so learn that the hard way <laughs> like i mean like oh now I, that test didn't work because there's a water softener inside so <laughs> that's always quite quite funny um obviously state of the art flashlights uh i have another tester let's see if i can grab here it is oh measure the rims out Unless they're like really crazy, I won't like do a huge horror oxid, you know, uh, an uh, octagon room. It's like, well, you know, but a lot of it's for furniture because, like, if you have a 10 foot wide bedroom, you don't want to put, you know, a king size bed in there. Um, another tester you just on the outside of the home. These are, this is my favorite one because it will still again tell me what the polarity is and stuff. Or, Without having, not really the player to be is if the power is off, it won't show much, but at least it will test, it will show me if the power is off, basically what the conditions are of electrical. So this is really good. Um, obviously, I like it because it's also more heavy to the outside. What else can we show? I think that is kind of it. Oh, I use these guards on the... Um, on my flying drone because I can actually glide going down the rake of a roof and sit there and the overhang. So it's just protects the propellers. A lot of tools here. Um, software. Okay, so I think one of the biggest problems I see with home inspectors is that they use a real complicated software. I like to use complicated tools and keep the software simple. The tools are what matter to me to keep it more in depth. I think the important thing is you'll see home inspectors that have a software that makes you click to this link, that link, that. No, just make it one page, one printout. See, I'll show you. This is this is how I do my reports. Um, obviously show what I'm doing, you know, walking the earth, but, um, but keeping it as a one print. So you don't have to print multiple links. See, I'm showing the different type of outlets I'm, the electrical testers I'm using, and um, that will, you know, thermal. Here we are. Here's me testing the the temperature readings in the attic, make sure there's proper ventilation, showing the outside temperatures as well. This is a laser leveling, laser leveling the house. So it's more important for me to, like I said. Um, have the expensive, detailed um, tools, but keep the report simple so it's printed out. 
also everything um, I do, which is really easy for realtors too, who don't have time to read these complex reports, bold red. That's all you have to read. So this uh, report, I think is a better way of doing it than the click this link, that link. And then what I also do is I include walkthrough videos for the client that are upload instantly. That way they can watch the inspection and be there. It, or what to say, if they can't make it, they will be there at the inspection while being part of the video. That's all included with my set price. It's no extra charge. But the video is also can help be a guide too because you can always reference back to it. Um, even me, I catch things where I was off or missed something and I will do a video walkthrough and I'm like, oh, I missed something in the report. So I have to go back and fix it because it puts you, uh, puts me, you know, under a microscope when I'm doing that because I'm being watched. When I do a video, I feel like I'm being watched. So now I got to prove it. And if I miss something, I will show it and explain why I missed it and then go back to it and fix it. Hopefully that answers the questions about the tools and the report and the